I'm gonna do the classic, what is up everybody? Are okay. you ready for this, Joan? Yeah, 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 I'm ready. You ready for this magic? Go for it. Joan has told me there's just always a little bit of magic that is in their heart anytime I do a what is up everybody. You know, I'm happy to do it for them. So, what the heck are you talking about? This one's for you, Joan. Here we go. <laughs> okay, thank you. What is up everybody? <laughs> Uh, Do I still have it? Oh, yes. Okay. It's so good. Yes, um. good. Hello out there. We are going to get right into another We Take request. I got Joan on the other end. How you doing, Joan? I'm doing so good. I don't think I've ever felt this good. Great. Any day after this is downhill from this point. I'm wow. ready to feel miserable from here on out. That's the spirit, because today, the day that we're filming this is Virgil's birthday. Happy freaking birthday, Virgil. Yes, it's the anniversary of the first introduction of Virgil. By the time you all are watching this, it'll be months ago, most likely. <laughs> <laughs> and also today is National Emo Day, which is amazing. December 19th. Could Virgil have picked a better birthday if he tried, Thomas? Probably not. I think no. Going forward for We Take Requests, we thought it would be fun if we do a rotation of different social platforms where we got requests every month. And so this month, we got requests from my Instagram. So all of these requests, with the exception of ones coming in from our patrons live, are going to be coming from Instagram. And we took three that we were inspired by and took it over over to Patreon for them to vote upon as our main request. And you all voted. Follow a makeup tutorial while just listening to the audio. We're not going to start yet. Yeah. We have to fulfill this other request. The first request was using your own clothes, dress as similarly to each other as possible. Are you ready to change into that outfit? I'm so ready, Thomas. <laughs> I'm ready to get out of these old rags. Let's do it. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. And we're back. And look at... <laughs> you knew. Oh my gosh, the chat is amazing. People in the chat were just like, floral, called it. Joan, you, I, I don't know how easy this is going to be for you to see it but I'm wearing pajama bottoms <laughs> and sandals. That's great, that's perfect. I didn't have an orange beanie. This is a Be More Chill beanie. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're just doing the rest of We Take Requests as each other, right? Yeah, that's great. This wig. <laughs> Where did you get this? We had it. You've had this for a while, haven't you? We've had it, yeah. I'm wearing a red piece of cardboard as an Apple Watch. <laughs> I just got an Apple Watch. You sound like Jerry Seinfeld right now. <laughs> I just got an Apple Watch! <laughs> I'm gonna turn this tab off. Oh, yeah, 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 yes, please. I don't see it. Okay. I do not see it. Me neither. I've got a bunch of palettes here that I just had over the course of making other makeup videos. I have four brushes. I have some eyeliner. I have two brushes. Two. So this is a tutorial from Kenzie Mac Brown, and hopefully when they describe the colors, I will know what it, the color is. First off, I'm taking a big fluffy blending brush. I'm using the Lancome Blending Shadow Brush, and I'm placing the blending shade shadow Campus, brush. that's like the more nude shade. I'm placing that right along the upper brow bone. So from what I gathered, she said nude shape. A nude shade, yeah. Nude shade. Nude shape is, is something different. Nude shade right in the middle of the brow. I'd like to see your nude shape. Yeah, likewise, buddy. <laughs> I haven't used a primer in a very long time, but when I use this on this eye, I really liked it. So hopefully you guys do too. Oh, are we doing a primer right now? No, I got a primer right here. I think this is a primer. I'm not gonna not use primer? my primer that I have. What is primer? How did, where? Talon says I need it to make the look work. What does primer look like? It's a little creamy thing that I'm gonna put on as a base and put all the makeup on top of. Do you need a mirror? Oh, mirrors, that would be good. I don't know what a primer is. A whitish paste. Okay, wait. Mine is skin color. So a whitish paste. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't. What is this? What is this? Oh, concealer. Okay. All right, I'm doing it. Look at me real quick, Thomas. I think you need to see this. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't look as bad. I totally applied the primer wrong. Has Talon seen it? Talon thinks it's scary. Okay, well, let's go ahead and continue. I'm using the Lancome Blending Shadow Brush, and I'm- I've got a big fluffy brush. Blending, like the more nude shade. I'm placing that right along the upper brow bone, just beneath my eyebrow. Oh. oh. Wait, so this is the nude shade that we're putting right, what did they say, above the brow bone? You're supposed to do it on the upper brow bone? Wait. Right. Does it mean above my brow? Just below. Above my brow? 
A pale shade? I'm gonna do it. Below the eyebrow. Okay, ooh, great. So that was one step out of 50. Great, great, great. I say, Thomas, it's okay if we do badly. Let's just try and do our best. Yes, absolutely. That was definitely a sign, though, that I'm in for it. <laughs> Next, I'm using that exact same blending brush to put that bright yellow color, you can't miss it. Bright yellow color, this. can't miss it. I'm going to start right in the middle of my crease and then kind right. of blend outwards from there. Right in the middle of your crease? Pause. Yeah. What's a crease? I'm imagining the crease that's a butt, that's like your eyelid crease. An eyelid crease? Yeah, yeah, you know when you close your eye, there's like a crease where your eyeball like goes into your like, you know, your, your crease. She's saying right in the middle of your crease? Yeah, and then do it and then move outward, she said. So I have applied maybe about six layers of this yellow shade here. Six, six layers? layers. Alright, here we go. Let's add six layers. Ooh, I've decided to go a different route where the yellow is also underneath the eyes. I don't think that's right. Makeup is subjective. Sure, sure, but we're following a tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> I am saying I'm making a choice, but it's really just because I can't control this big fluffy brush. I couldn't even try. I don't think this is the one she's talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue using this one and add on th three more layers, four more layers. So I decided to put it right in the middle of the eyes. Joan decided to do it all along the crease. See my beautiful eyes. I have no idea who's right. Do you see them? <laughs> Let's go on to another request. What are some requests? Let's find some. Joan, somebody's asking for you to reenact an episode. Virgil, I don't know what to do. My friends will think I'm an asshole. <laughs> That's my impression. <laughs> That's all of Sanders' sides. <laughs> and Patton comes up and he's like, No, kiddo, your friends won't think you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and Roman pops up and he's like, I think your friends will think you're an asshole, all right? <laughs> and Virgil's like, Your friends definitely think you're an asshole. <laughs> Do Logan now. Logan says, I can mathematically prove that you are not an One, your whole body is not the whole of an a <laughs> <laughs> Biologically speaking, you are not an a I love this. This episode needs to be made now. This is all an incorrect quote. Am I an a <laughs> <laughs> Joan, which one do you want us to do next? Okay, I'm wearing a floral shirt to emulate your style, Thomas. So would you mind sharing with everybody how many floral shirts you have? Absolutely, Joan. Before we started this video, I went ahead and brought them down. All right, Joan, I need you to count for me, okay? Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's go. Do one, two, three. Classic. Four, five. All right, this one counts. Six. Oh, kind of. <laughs> kind of it's got a pineapple on it. It's a pineapple floral. Throw up a pull. Uh. Seven. Wait. Pineapple does flower. Oh. Now, now do you see it? 6.5. It counts. That has the potential to not be a floral shirt. Huh? 7.5. Oh my gosh. 8.5. Pineapple what? They flower. Oh, pineapples flower. do flower, but that's just a pineapple. 9.5. 10.5. 11.5. It's a big 12.5 right there. That's a big one. 13.5. <laughs> 14 14.5. Our trees floral. Drop a pull. Our trees <laughs> floral. 15.5. Is it floral if it has one flower on it? Yes! Drop a pull. Yes! Now, I don't know if that's floral. It's got a flower on it. 16.5. Is that what I was at? 17? 16? We're on 12. Was that on 12? Uh, I don't know. 16.5. Oh, what are you gonna count with this one? I don't know. It's trees. <laughs> Is it floral if it has one flower on it? Yes. 197 votes to 21. No. Are trees floral? Yes. 186 to 51 votes. Oh, come on. Is pineapple floral? Yes. 163 votes to 96 votes. That's not floral. It is floral. Moving on. That's, I guess, 17.5. Is that what we 18.5. No, that's not floral. What is that? A fern? Here's another one. 19.5. 20.5. Here's another one. 21.5. 22.5. Yeah. Yes. Here's another one. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> We're still at 22.5. Made flower. 21.5. You're not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're higher than 21.5. Here's the next one. 74.5. No. <laughs> Here's another one. 23.5. 24.5. 25.5. 26.5. <laughs> 
27.5. And finally, 28.5. 28.5. Now there's lots of dispute. <laughs> Our patrons are saying different things. 33.5, 34, 69. Nice. So yes, I really like flowers. <laughs> I still have not satiated my hunger for floral pattern shirts. It's because some of your floral shirts are half measures at best. <laughs> That's why you haven't been satiated. Let's go ahead and continue with the makeup tutorial, you think, Joan? Sure, 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 let's do it. Then I'm taking a clean blending brush. I'm using the brush, the crease brush from Marc Jacobs, and I'm the going in brush. with that one hot, hot pink shade. I actually picked up a cool Hot, hot pink. pink. Hot, hot pink, okay, there we go. Uh, right into my crease and start to really build up that pigment. Okay, hot pink. This is looking hot. I might have put too much. Yes. Starting in the middle and building outwards. Yes. And it's okay too if there's a stark contrast between the two colors because you'll be blending them out later with another color as well. Oh. After some blending, you'll notice that yellow shade is a little bit more faded than when we first put it down. So what I'm right. doing is going back in with the very first brush and just blending that yellow shade on top of that pink shade where those two colors meet. What? Okay. Where those two colors meet? Oh geez. Wait, I've been blending it on top of each other. Okay, I'm gonna try and do... How's it looking? P. Deese? Let's do another request. Let's do some more requests. Thomas, do you want Logan to recite the fitness gram pacer test? Yes, absolutely. This is gonna look like a hot mess. Wow, this is a whole look for Logan. <laughs> Logan's just like, I'm going through something right now. <laughs> You won't get this reference, I don't think, but you look like Sid from Skins. I don't get that reference. Helen, does Thomas look like Sid from Skins? No. No, 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 <laughs> not generally, right now. <laughs> not generally. A little bit. Hey, Talon. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Are we ready for this? This is gonna be Logan reading the Fitness Gram Pacer Test. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. <laughs> A single lap should be completed every time you hear this sound. <laughs> Remember to run in a straight line and run as long as possible. The second time you fail to complete a lap before the sound, your test is over. The test will begin on the word start. On your mark, get ready, start! <laughs> <laughs> That's great, I love that. Thank you, thank you. Our next request came in and they asked for Remus to sing some Beetlejuice. I don't know a lot of Beetlejuice. I went and saw the show, so I'm gonna choose this song. It's the song Say My Name, not from Destiny's Child. That's a different one. Although I could do that one too. Say my name, say my name. When no one is around you. Say baby, I love you. <laughs> so here we go, let's do this. Go ahead and jump, but that won't stop him. Here, you got a solid plan B option. I can bring your daddy so much pain. All you gotta do is say my name. Girl, just say it three times in a row. Then you won't believe how far I'll go. I'm on the bench, but coach, just put me in the game. All you gotta do is say my name. Remus. It's so good to sing as Remus again. People have been wanting Remus to sing Beetlejuice for a very long time. Do you want to go back into the makeup tutorial? Sure, yeah, let's do it. To help make this blending process a little bit smoother, I'm taking that almost pumpkin-y orange shade, and I'm going to place that right in between that yellow and that pink. Pumpkin-y orange ombre shade. Look. Ombre. Ooh, that blending is just, you know, Non-existent. Oh my gosh, what about this one, Joan? You what? It says, Roman sings happy birthday to Virgil. Yeah, sure, do it. You want me to do that? Do it while you do your makeup. Virgil! <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's somebody's birthday today. Whose birthday did you hear it was? Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, Virgil's. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I know that we've had our differences in the past, but one thing we can agree on is that you have a birthday. So, I am going to sing a happy birthday tune as my gift to you. Here we go. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Love that syllable. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Virgil. Happy birthday to 
you, but also me. Because, you know, it's like five o'clock. It's my birthday somewhere. Am I right? I'm going to just lightly pack that pink color in my outer yeah, corner. Baby. When you're going in with a really pigmented color, it's important that you pack it onto one central location first. That's way and ahead then of when them. there's less pigment on the brush is when you want to start blending it out. So you definitely don't want to rush through it and just feel free to take your time. Too late. <laughs> Don't rush through it, but I already did it. When I'm packing on that pink shade, I'll also bring it in a little bit towards the middle of my eye, because this is where I'm going to pack in the purple color. Purple color? What the purple? Purple. Okay, pink shade on top of the purple. Yes. We're gonna move on to the next challenge, which is to try different Asian snacks. Thomas tries Asian snacks. Here we go. Sean, I want a really good graphic for that one. I'm thinking explosions. I'm thinking rainbows. I'm thinking animals, raccoons mostly. I'm thinking some trees. I'm thinking some windshield wipers to wipe it all away. Let's go ahead and start with the Pocky. Okay, yes. Now we, I've never had Pocky before. It's wild that you've never had Pocky to me. So we're gonna start out with this one. Matcha green tea. Pocky. Oh, they're tiny. Oh, they look like little pretzel sticks. Yeah. <laughs> I just went right into it. That's pretty good. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. I feel like a lot of the time matcha flavored things, especially like matcha flavored chocolate, almost tastes crickety to me. But that's maybe a me thing. How do you know what a cricket tastes like? Have you tasted a cricket? Have you never eaten like crickets at the zoo or something like that when you were younger? Like those dried up little crickets? No. <laughs> Have you? Yeah, <laughs> drop a pole. I'm not saying that I wouldn't. <laughs> it's fine if you wouldn't. And we're gonna try chocolate Pocky now. Yes, classic. Oh, where has this been all my life? That's so good, excellent. No, viewer, it's not just Kit Kats. We have Kit Kats in the States. This one is sweet potato Kit Kats. Oh, that sounds so good. I wish I could try it. Not the biggest fan of sweet potatoes. Mm. So let's see what this tastes like. It just tastes like white chocolate to me. You like it? That's very nice, yeah. Oh, man, I wish I could have it. I know. All right, let's go to the next thing. I'm very scared about the drinks. I don't know why. It is called Pearl Soybean Drink with Tapioca Ball. All right, here we go. Um, It tastes like sweet soy milk. It's actually more refreshing than I thought it was going to be. Okay. I'm trying oh, to gosh. get a Tapioca Ball. Oh, they're tiny. Oh. That's delightful. This is crispy white sardines. Oh God. Are these just dried sardines? I think these are just dried sardines. Well, eat up, buddy. <laughs> okay, I've never had a sardine before. Oh, really? I'm gonna do it. Okay, ready? That was not what I was expecting. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. No. Oh, drink some more of your soy milk. <laughs> yes, beautiful. I was not expecting that flavor. It's yeah. spicy. I'm white, so spicy to me. <laughs> it's not that spicy. This one is called La Chong Drink. Sorry for the mispronunciation. This one has konjac jelly. Joan, can you tell me what konjac jelly is? Let me see. It's a cute little bottle with a little tab here. It seems to be a plant. It's a plant. It's also known as devil's tongue and voodoo lily and snake ball and elephant yam. Okay, hold on. I'm having difficulty with this cat. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Got it. That was new for me. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> Gosh, these flavors are just, I don't know what to prepare for. It's very, almost, I would say coconutty. Let's see what's in it. Water, konjac jelly, coconut milk flavor. There it is. Mm. It's a little too sweet for me, but that's interesting. I'm glad I tried it. It's cool to try new things. And that's what this is all about. Finally, last thing, shrimp flakes. I like shrimp. I like some flakes, <laughs> but not the ones that just cancel before they go to a party. Those aren't fun. Gosh, you're a comedic genius. Woo! Here we go. Oh. How is it? I went back in for more, so. <laughs> that's really good. 
I could munch on these. I want more Pocky. Well, that's cool. I want to do more of this. I want to try more foods from around the world. That sounds fun. Let's do more of this makeup tutorial. Let's do it. Now I'm taking that gorgeous purple shimmer shade and just packing that on where it looks like we don't have any eyeshadow at all. It will kind of cut your crease. She wants me to cut my crease? So now that we have all our shadows on our upper eyelid, I'm going to go pop on some false lashes and come right back. False lashes? I don't have false lashes. I got lashes. I think I have mascara. I remember watching my mom put on mascara when I was little and I was like, not for me, man. <laughs> And now look at me. <laughs> I was like, why would you get that close to your eye with that gross black gunky stuff? The thing that scares me is these lash curlers. I'm afraid I'm gonna chop my eyelash off. <laughs> I'm getting mascara on my nose. Classic. Feels very weird. How's that? Pretty good. Pretty good, Talon says. You guys are so slow. I'm just over here vibing. Yeah, because you don't have to put eyelashes on your eyelashes. I don't put this no, on my God, eyelids? No, no. You put it on the lashes. You put it on the lashes? I may go to sleep. I'm just going for it. Oh, no. <laughs> well, my mascara looks on point. Yeah, my mascara looks great. But my fake eyelashes, on the other <laughs> hand, are not going so well. Oh, wait, hey. You know what? You did pretty good. Oh. <laughs> uh, this isn't working, so I'm just gonna have mascara. False lashes are hard. It's impossible. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I tightline my waterline using the black eyeshadow. So as you can see, it really defines your eyes without being too dramatic or too dark. <laughs> Whoops, I did it too dramatic and too dark. <laughs> I don't want this to be as bold or as dark as my upper waterline, so that's why I'm only using whatever is left of the brush. How do you put it on your upper waterline? Then I'm going in with that hot pink color right on top of that. I'm loving this. I think I'm doing so well right now. All right, Thomas, we're gonna do this request right here. Starflight4842 asked Chubby Bunny Challenge. Have you done this challenge before, Joan? I don't think I have. Let's see, gameplay. You can play Chubby Bunny with as little as two players. The game can be taken in individual turns. After each marshmallow is inserted, the player must say Chubby Bunny. When the player's mouth is so filled with marshmallows, they cannot recite Chubby Bunny audibly, or they eject one or more marshmallows from their mouth. Their score is tallied. On that note, I've got my marshmallows. <laughs> Who wants to go first, Thomas? You or me? Go ahead. Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny. Let's see if I can say Chubby Bunny with two marshmallows in my mouth. Are you prepared to learn the answer to that question? <laughs> Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny. <laughs> my mouth is already experiencing things. <laughs> oh, God. Let's hear it. Chubby Bunny. What? Okay. Chubby Bunny. Hey, wait, wait. Look at me jump. I'm gonna make up an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do three. Okay. Chubby Bunny. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Chubby Bunny. There you go. So that was four for you. This is four for me. Ew. Chubby bunnies. Oh my god. <laughs> I lose. I can't do it. You couldn't do it? No, I can't. See if you can beat me. See if you can get five. Chubby bunnies. Oh my god. Nuh-uh. Mm -hmm. Chubby bunnies. Oh my god. <laughs> mm? What is that, seven? Chubby bunnies. <laughs> oh my god. This is a nightmare. Oh. Wow, that was incredible. Oh my gosh. Well, I got a big old mouth. What do we got next? Out of context spoilers for future of Sandersides. Okay, b there you go. There's an out of context spoiler. All right, great, moving on. <laughs> Let's finish the makeup and then we'll do one final request. I'm taking that white shade and just popping that into my inner corner using one of the fluffy brushes. In the inner corner, she said. Okay, I can do that. And just like that, you are done with the eyes. Yes. So now I'm gonna pop on some bronzer, highlight, blush. Basically give the rest of my face a little bit more color to match my eyes. Oh. Well, I think we're just gonna do the eyes. That's fine by me. Okay, so we finished the look. Okay, let's see. Let's see. And this is the finished look. Oh, it's a lot more purple than I thought. Oh my God, hers is so bright. My look is absolutely, I would say pretty spot on. Mine's actually a lot brighter on camera. What do you think, Talon? I think you did a pretty good job. In all honesty, Joe, you nailed this one. I think I did pretty good. Honestly, I think I look pretty fucking cute. I'm just rubbing my chest. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing one last request to celebrate Virgil's birthday by singing My Chemical Romance 
as Virgil. You're gonna smash it just like the viewers at home are gonna smash the like button, am I right? <laughs> am I right? Are we right? Are we right? Well, now this could be the last of all the rides we take. So hold on tight and don't look back. <clears throat> Still got some tapioca in my throat. <laughs> we don't care about the message or the rules they make. I'll find you when the sun goes black. And you only live forever in the lights you make. When we were young, we used to say, you only hear the music when your heart begins to break. Now we are the kids from yesterday. And that, of course, was the song Kids from Yesterday. Did that sound okay? <laughs> Of course it didn't. <laughs> it felt nice. It was kind of like sentimental and stuff. Some of those lyrics felt like they could speak to the passage of time. That was our time or like we had our time or whatever. I don't know. It just felt cute and emo. I like that. Well, we've made it to the end of our video. Oh my gosh. A little Virgil cupcake. Virgil's wish is let 2021 be not as bad as 2020. Oh gosh, Virgil, don't say it out loud. Oh no, now I'm panicking. <laughs> That's exactly, honestly, what was going through my head though. I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. No, it's not gonna come true and it's probably gonna be worse. <laughs> but anyway, happy birthday, Virgil. Thank you all for another lovely We Take request. You've requested it, we take, we took it. We did them, we did the requests. <laughs> That's the slogan of the series that you all remember so well. Right, yes, you you send the request, we take, we do, we did, we did them, we do them, we take, we did them. Yes. Joan, do you have any closing statements before we end the video? Uh... No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining. I appreciate it. This was a lot of fun. Please be sure to send in a request next time. Thank you all so much to our patrons who also sent in requests. If you're interested in joining Patreon, you can click there. Thank you so much, Joan, for joining. You're so welcome, Thomas. And until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace, Peace out. out. Oh my gosh, my makeup. <laughs>